every morning. Oh my I goodness. can't believe you said that this, all of that was shot on an iPhone, basically. I, I shot it all in lockdown on an <laughs> iPhone. Wow. Yeah. That is a pandemic album, then, it's isn't it? It's a pandemic album, but it's also an album about freedom and getting out again, yeah. hugging, kissing people, celebrating dancing, celebrating those that you love as well. Mm. It's a very up album, it is. deliberately. It, is, it definitely is. And, I listen, and it's also so you. You literally listen to 10 seconds like, I know who that is. <laughs> yes. And it's doing incredibly well. The midweek chart is five for me in the main charts. And we're just trying to just get me my first number one. So let's see what happens. It's gone crazy. I can't crazy. believe you never had number one. Never, never had number one, had one album. Actually, <laughs> I, by association, Teletubbies. Oh. <laughs> We've got to end that, haven't we? <laughs> I, mean, I was the narrator on Teletubbies and they had a number one in the 90s. So this... I, I take that. I mean, you know, Teletubbies yeah. number one, that's good. <laughs> so Posh Pop will be my highest chart placing possibly ever. Wow. To, and especially since 1985. Wow. It's gone crazy out there. And in terms, you say, you say it's like you, you're trying to sort of purposely make it fun. Having done this during lockdown, did you sort of go against the the national feeling, if you like, because people were struggling, weren't they? Did you think, I've got to, I've got to sort of fight against this and uh, make a really positive record? I didn't record. have to fight against it. I felt really unified with, with my Toya YouTube audience. Mm -hmm. I, uh, May last year, I put a video out of me teaching my husband to jive, and with fi within five minutes, 100,000 viewers. That was May. By January, we had 40 million viewers. And I'd never felt so connected. It's... It was the great leveller. There was no yeah. point being a rock star. We were suddenly 40 of all-time guitarists. If he wasn't on it, it could have been called Pop Tart. You know, <laughs> it's just, or, or if it was just so, me, so, it would be Pop. Right, so he's the posh bit. He's he? the posh bit. Right. Because instantly around the world, and this is going to be my first international album, and I'm 63. <laughs> This is about my 29th album. Because he's on it, it's instantly perceived as something incredibly posh. Oh, that's lovely. And very useful having you in the house. But, well, yeah. He <laughs> From the guitar point cook. of view. But what was beautiful <laughs> about going into the studio, because Simon and I prepared everything, we recorded and wrote the songs first. Mm. We put my husband in the studio for half an hour once a week, handed him the chord chart, and we said, do whatever you want. And we said, channel Blondie, channel Talking Heads, channel Bowie, all of who he worked with. And he just did one take, and that's it on this glorious. That's album. talent, isn't it? It's talent. So is he involved? Because you're, you're on tour in your next month, is that right? I, I've been on tour for the last five weeks. OK. He's mm -hmm. now in the States and was hit by the hurricane in New York. OK. And had to move his um, outdoor venue indoor. So he gets home in two weeks. I've been on the road now for at least five weeks, doing the festivals, which is fabulous, and carrying on. Because like everyone you talk to in show business, mm. All the gigs that were sold out last year are now buffered into mm -hmm. this year. So we're very, very busy. Fact. What's it like now, having, having got, you know, lived through the pandemic and you know, everyone involved in the arts and the, say, the creative industries are so frustrated not being able to perform? What's it like to have a crowd out there singing yeah, back at you I, now? I have to stop myself from crying. I, I just want to kiss the stage and I'm meeting people face to face that I helped through lockdown. Mm. Uh, some people who lost relatives who mm. contacted me and asked me to do virtual singing at the fu their virtual funerals. I mean, really deep connections like that. I'm now seeing face to face in the audience and they're coming to say thank you and they're able to hug me now. So it's been a really intense and remarkable time that's taught me a lot about myself. I've come out of this a much better person. Your enthusiasm is infectious. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's brilliant. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, no, no it's, it's brilliant absolutely thing. brilliant. It really is. And the album's absolutely fantastic. It's great. Listen, thank you very, very much for coming to see us so and spreading your energy. You. <laughs> thank you. I do feel energised by sitting next to you. This is good news. <laughs> Uh, thank you, and hopefully we'll sort out that album for you as well, because we can't have the Teletubbies being your only number one. Now, this has got to be number one, hasn't right. it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new album is called Posh Pop. Absolutely brilliant to see you, Toya. Thank you very much indeed. You are watching.